Hey, it's Friday, January 12th. I'm Bridget, and this is TV Squad Daily. Rumor has it that VH1's making a new reality show that'll premiere sometime late next spring that's kind of a second chance for forgotten boy band members. The premise is that these guys will live together for a month, creating music as a new pop group. The four guys rumored to be taking part are Chris Kirkpatrick from NSYNC, Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees, Rich Cronin from LFO, and Brian Abrams from Color Me Bad. If those names and pictures made you cringe, you're not alone. The problem is that in their boy bands, these guys were the filler members. There's always a cute one, a shy, sensitive type with an awesome voice, a sort of funky guy that was a rebel and could really dance, and then one or two filler members. The show claims to be giving them a chance to recapture their fame and fortune. That's not going to happen in a month. I just hope they know that. Rapper The Game is mad at a WWE wrestler The Game for using the same name. Says he used it first. And now the rapper is challenging the wrestler to a fight. Rapper The Game said, I'm much stronger than he is. He's on TV wrestling and is pretend, made up. I wrestle in real life and I win. Oh, I'm embarrassed for him. We have courts now for stuff like that, you know? So he basically challenged him to a duel. No word yet on whether Wrestler The Game is going to take him up on the offer. You know the game Plinko from The Price is Right? Well, I didn't even know this was out there, but apparently there's a drinking game called Drinko that Target was selling. It was like Plinko, only you drink shots instead of winning prizes. Well, now Target stopped selling the game because of a letter writing campaign that said it promoted binge drinking and tempted kids to drink. Other games being targeted by the campaign include Shots and Ladders and Keg Pong. Why did I never notice these in Target? Where were they? Were they with the board games for little kids? Because that would be bad. The games don't contain alcohol, so they can be bought by someone of any age. Look, it comes with tiny glasses, just like a tea party. Still, doesn't it seem like you're setting a dangerous precedent when a store stops selling a product that's intended for adults just because it might appeal to and might be used inappropriately by kids? Just the principle of the thing. What about those big pink plastic margarita glasses that hold the equivalent of four margaritas? Those look fun. And heaven forbid these kids should spend their allowance money on one of Target's champagne fountains. And also available from Target.com, Strip Chocolate Checkers. Which promises as the pieces come off, so do the clothes. Man, it's almost like you're going to have to watch your kids. All the time. I'm Bridget. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you back here Monday on TVSquad.com.